Hello guys, new video, new update, let's go. So, before the video starts, just uh, subscribe and uh, like the video, uh, whatever, just join the Discord server, and yeah, without further ado, let's start the video. Hello, hello. Hello guys, uh, today, we got a Roblox Parkour update. Yeah, I know, it's it's crazy. This game barely gets any updates. Anyways, uh, today's update is a pretty big update. It's pretty fucking packed. I don't think I'll show everything in this video, but let's just show the, the cool stuff, you know? Alright, so, for the first thing, there are three new props. So, there is this one, which looks like a Minecraft block. There's this one one and then there's this one which yeah they're they're they look pretty cool and also they they revamped this area of the map it makes bro it looks so like sick like look at this it looks like it looks like eminem threw a fucking concert here what the fuck is this bro like, what the what a boy hey but that's cool and it, it goes on and on well whatever all right so now there's actually magro physics all right so the second thing Rest in peace, bro. Uh, anyways, uh, the second thing is that Magrope now has physics. So, as you guys remember, the old Magrope is pretty bonky and shit, and everyone knows that. So, uh, the new one has actual good physics now. Go try it for yourself. It's pretty cool. And you can get really, really fast speed within, like, if you know how to fucking do Gears Dashes, you can probably combine with Gears Dashes and Magrope and get, like, really fast with it. Like, what the fuck? Wait. Yeah, I, I wish I could combine it with Grappler, but yeah, it was not added. I don't know why. But yeah, it, it actually has actual physics now, which is cool. Alright, so if we go to settings, and I you could probably already tell there's more options. So, uh, though this, we, they have now settings, like sections for every setting. Interface settings, and their section, like camera settings, let's turn that off, boring. But yeah, it's pretty cool. There's, uh, there's also new settings down here, so uh, there's this called view model adrenaline trans trans transparency. Yeah, you know, I know, I know how to read English. So pretty much if you have this on one, you'll probably pretty much not see, uh, fucking adrenaline in, in first person. So if you, if you want to have that on for some reason, you can put it on one, but I'll keep that on zero because I want to see my adrenaline. Second thing is is view model transparency so pretty much if you want to be invincible boom the higher you go the the more invincible you will be so yeah you could be a ghost whatever for the uh, field view model pretty much fov everyone knows this hold to respond so you can set uh, like um, the amount of time that you want to hold your key to respond but i don't know why you would have this on but yeah and the, be the, the better thing is auto respawn this thing is sick so pretty much if you have it on zero and you just die like let me kill myself real quick that sounds wrong and boom, see, I didn't even press the respawn button, I respawned Im immediately. Alright, so with the player prop option, pretty much when someone throws a prop on the ground, you can actually disable it and you will not be able to see it. Same with colas, wait, as soon as you throw a cola. Fuck, that, wait, oh yeah, wait, throw it again, throw it again, <laughs> throw it again. Yeah, oh, what? Okay, I guess it's only sprint kit and zip lines gener generated from uh, players. Also, there are settings for, for uh, world settings. Those can actually improve your FPS by, uh, you can turn off time trails, sky beams, there's those just so, like, the sky beams in the air, you can turn it off. But if you turn it off, you have to rejoin the server, because, yeah, I just broke, I broke mine. When you disable it, you have to rejoin the server, so it actually works. Hacked billboards, pretty much hacked billboards, nothing much. Smooth materials, this will make your, uh, buildings look low quality. Yeah, it will make the, the buildings smoother. This tends to improve the FPS, so you can turn it on, yeah. But I'll disable that for now. Also, rejoin the server after you do, after you do that, because, like, yeah, it breaks some of the models. Dang, I'm shiny. <laughs> also, you have world shadows, you never want this on. Please turn this off, you're a weirdo if you have it on. World particles, pretty much the particles of utilities and shit. You can turn this off for more FPS. World lights, you know, lights. You wanna see lights or not, just turn it off. World rain, uh, you guys all hate rain, right? You can turn it off now. Whoa, whoa. Wor world thunder. Yeah, I know, you, you can't get- you can't get scared anymore, you know? You guys remember when, like, the, the thing goes like, Grrr. Yeah, yeah, you, you, and then you get scared. Yeah, you can turn it off now. And then there's even more settings, and this is the cool part. Render distance, pretty much the same. Day, brightness, uh, everything here, the same. But world saturation, bro. Bro! What? It's, like, so colorful, bro. Like, nah, this is sick. This this is sick. But, uh, uh wait, I'm gonna I'm lower that. Where, where, yeah, this. Yeah, I'll keep that as normal. Uh, wait, what? which one was the normal one? Fuck. And also there's a uh, world sky box. So pretty much you can change the color of the f uh, the sky. Bro, what the fuck? Yeah, pretty much textures of the sky. It looks sick. You can have weird textures. Retro. There's a lot of options. So go, go try the update and try it yourself. 
you know, just find whatever suits you. Yeah, they, those are weird. Nah, but the best one is C SpongeBob, bro. Like, like, look at that SpongeBob, bro. Like SpongeBob. Also, you can turn off clouds, which is pretty cool. Yeah, no one likes clouds. Let's turn that off. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Uh, wind volume, pretty much. The wind. You can turn the wind off. Now you don't hear the wind, which, yeah, kind of cool. But I'll, I'll keep it on. Rain volume. Again, if you don't want to get like, uh, if you don't want to be in a horror game or something like that, if you don't, you don't want to get like scared from the rain, since I know you guys are rain phobic, uh, you, you can turn it off, which I'll turn off because I get pissed sometimes. Oh, so they also added combos to Pro UI. So pretty much, uh, as you all know, there's a keybind called Pro UI. It's somewhere that yeah, this one. So pretty much it just hides the, the screen. But if you go in the first Pro UI, you can actually see your combos now in the UI thingy. As you can see, you can see the combo down there, and also the health, the combo health, so let me just walk around. As you can see, you can also see the combo health. Back then, uh, there would be nothing here, so yeah, now it's hella better. You can see your combo health and everything. And they also added keystrokes, so let me find it real quick. Yeah, keystrokes, so pretty much there's keystrokes now on the screen. Yeah, it's not OBS, it's from the game. You can turn this on and everything, and it looks pretty sick. They also have move feed which shows like the things down there like it's pretty much just like the minecraft one you can like hear you could they're pretty much you could just see the stuff that happens down here like when you jump when you move i don't know why you would have this on unless you can't hear or something they also added mission re-rolling so pretty much if you don't want to do a mission just you know re-roll it so for pretty much this one you could re-roll it and get a new one which will be hopefully better but i think you get a re-roll every day so you can't re-roll re every mission you don't like so yeah so pretty much use it wisely also adrenaline tells you when your uh, when your adrenaline is gonna come back so pretty much when the seconds finish it's gonna give me my adrenaline back anytime now and boom, my wings is back. Also, it tells you the keybind that you have to press for your adrenaline. Also, there's a lot of map changes in the game pretty much right now. Like, there's a lot of map changes. Like, this place right here. It used to be just, like, one building, but now it's split into build two buildings. And also have some mangroves here, so you can, uh, like, get a lot of speed right here. Alright, so for this one, now you can change uh, skins of gloves. But the, gl the only gloves that you can change the skins of is Sopratic Glove. Fuck, I can't spell it. And uh, evil glove. So pretty much, if you go to settings, go to glove, and then you can change uh, your glove to any skin you want. They also added a third person indicator for uh, adrenaline. So pretty much, if you're in third person and you put in your adrenaline, you will see above your head, uh, it's gonna have this little thing up here. It's pretty much gonna tell you when your adrenaline is gonna run out. So yeah. So pretty much in missions now, you can track your uh, mission as usual. But back then, you couldn't, like, remove the track, so you had to complete the mission to actually remove the, the little thing. They also removed it, like, they also moved it from down there to here. Pretty cool. But now you can untrack your uh, missions. This is pretty useful. I don't know why this wasn't a thing in the first place, but, yeah. Also, they have a thing to tell you when your next mission is, so, yeah. So, they also buffed Paraglider, which, it's faster now, and pretty much less boring in the fucking game because back then it was boring and it has like nothing it had nothing to do i mean it is still boring wingsu is better but it's faster now and also uh, this isn't an update but you can combine the dashes with the uh, wingsu and you would go hella far but i don't know who would who would ever do this like wingsu like hello wingsu also the uh, the grappler cursor now spins which looks like this this is actually pretty cool so yeah also quick turn will respect the direction that you used to look at so it won't break so it will actually like go to the direction that you aimed at before you used it so pretty much it's it's cooler now they also made pings like longer so pretty much if you ping it's gonna stay for a long time and yeah pretty cool it's pretty much just stays longer now and uh that's really about it also spring kits will, uh, will now show you how much springs do you have left all right so now spring kits make you go higher which is really cool and that's okay that's a really big buff holy sh and also if you hold the, the back back gear button you can recall every spring kit that you put on the ground so pretty much if i hold q right now boom so pretty much if i hold uh, q they all come back time trails now end if you go on the ground so pretty much just go on a time trail and if you go on the ground they will pretty much just end so yeah just don't go on the ground also being on the ground will hinder speed so pretty much you cannot do any dashes you cannot go any you cannot go fast you cannot slide like the sliding just will not you will not go fast you can't even do like dashes with it so yeah